All right, day one of my journey of breast revision. I can't say that fast at all, but that is redoing my breast implants that I already had. And so let me take you on the journey so that I could maybe hopefully teach you also. I went to my GP, so you've got to go to your GP first. Um, have a chat to them, see what they kind of say, you know, and, and what you kind of, why you want to get revision. This is the 10th year of me having them and so I want them redone but also um, I found a lump in my breast so I freaked out and then so obviously went to my GP then I then got a referral to the scanning place you know to the radiology then from there I did a scan uh, to make sure that there were no nasties or anything you know no growths or anything and what is that actual lump uh, then the scan went back to my doctor and then the doctor told me that there was, you know, like it's, it's nothing nasty, but then um, it is part of my implants. So it is caused by my implants and so I need to have a revision, get new breast implants and then they will remove that, that will remove that lump at the same time, right? So next step is I then rang around and kind of got quotes and everything for uh, having my breast redone now that's it's a more of a more expensive operation trust me ring around because I got quoted some crazy quotes uh, actually got quoted a really good one so it pays to really ring around now I live in Queensland so I rang up you know Miami um, here there everywhere kind of thing but close to home purely because it is a or as I remember, a really painful operation. Um, and so I don't want to be far from home. So anyway, we've got, where we got? We got, we're on Friday today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We've got, okay, so four days until the consult. Um, I will keep on vlogging and I'm trying to be freaking out, but everything will be sweet. I just keep on telling myself everything will be sweet. And yeah. But um, I'll take you on the journey with me and so you know exactly what's going on, what to do, what not to do. I'm a fitness trainer also, so I'm going to go nuts at, you know, eventually. And so then I will vlog how to get back into fitness and, yeah, so I don't go completely bonkers. But, yeah, but I'll keep you posted and mm, I've decided to go two sizes bigger. Why not? If I've got to get it done and I'm going through the pain, um, I may as well come out looking better. Just makes sense. All right, well, I'll keep you posted. Okay, stay tuned.